Hello, ladies. Hello. Again, thank you for joining us today. And um, again, we want to thank Gabby and Mel um, for hosting and inviting all of you guys to cook with Chef Lisa K today. So you had your dynamic hors d'oeuvres. I hope they were dynamic. Yes, so good. Okay, great. So now we are going to go ahead and make our pot pie, Lisa K way, okay? So we can use, um, you can use any, any any kind of vegetables if you if you really like a lot of vegetables. I know, I, how many vegetarians do we have here? One, oh one, two, okay, great, great, great. Okay, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna um, cut up the chicken just so as you guys can see and um, how, the doneness that it is, uh, but um, you guys can leave that out. You don't even have to grab the, the, um, the um, chicken if you don't want. But uh, first of all, when I get started and I make whatever I'm gonna make, I do one thing and just gather all of my ingredients, which is called mise en place. Um, I have my eight ounces of mixed vegetables already, which everything is on a cart for you, and um, we have seasonings over here. Um, I do have a great seasoning that I use for my pot pies that I don't give that recipe out, but you guys are gonna use this seasoning today, okay? And um, anytime you want that seasoning, just let me know until I get ready to bottle them. Um, so I have my mixed vegetables. You can buy the frozen. Otherwise, if you have a whole bunch of carrots and um, green beans and stuff like that at home already, um, you can just go ahead and just dice them up um, nice and, you know, just the small ones. And also, we have one potato. And um, I like asparagus, and I think, Gabby, you're the one who got me liking that asparagus in my pot pie. And um, mushrooms as well. And even though uh, I have chicken, if you want to, to still have the mushrooms and the um, asparagus and still the chicken, you guys can still do that, okay? Um, one thing um, about having a pot pie, you don't have a lot of space. It, the more you grab, um, you will have some left because if you grab too many, too much. You want to be sure that this cup does not exceed. Don't, oh, don't, no mounds, no overflowing. Just keep it, you know, nice and simple. Um, as you can see how much mixed vegetables I have, and I have a little bit of celery in here as well because I didn't fill it all the way because I do have mushrooms and I do have um, a potato. So, of course, once I dice those potatoes, get those in there, it's gonna um, add more to my cup and I have um, my um, asparagus. So I'm going to, of course, cut my vegetables first because once I get that chicken breast on that, that um, cutting board, I wanna be done with it, okay? So of course, celery, I mean, asparagus, you do not need to um, use the whole thing because that's when it starts being a little stringy. I'm not sure if you ever went to a restaurant or if you prepared your um, asparagus and a little stringy when you get down to the bottom. That's because you don't need all that. Just break it off and discard it. And so I only need one because, like I said, we only have a really, a really small um, uh, pot pie. And they do come a little bit bigger than this. If you go to the stores, you can find some a little bit bigger. Um, but that's fine. And I just cut my um, asparagus on a bias. As you can see, I wanna show a little bit of white instead of just chopping it like that. I just like to cut it on a slant. Just get some pretty um, pieces in there. I'm not gonna saute these because they're gonna cook with the um, rest of the vegetables once we get there and get them in there. My frozen vegetables, they're not as frozen. You know, I had them sitting out a little bit um, and I'm not gonna saute these as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put uh, my asparagus in there. My mushrooms are already sliced. I like them um, a little bit larger, so, but if you wanna small dice them, um, you can definitely just give it a rough chop. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that in here. But I do like to um, um, saute my mushrooms up just a little bit, and I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna throw them in there after I do my, um, my potato. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, peel my potato real quick. Um, trying to use these potato pillars instead of the knife. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna saute this up right away so I don't have to worry about um, it changing colors on me. But I'm not gonna cook it where it's mushy. I wanna have it just a little bit of give, just like the chicken, once we do our chicken. Um, a lot of people say, oh, the chicken was so dry inside my pot pie because you cooked it to death. You don't have to cook it all the way because you're gonna um, cook it in the oven for about um, 25 minutes anyway, and um, it's gonna cook a little bit more, okay? 
So, um, I'm just gonna rinse this real quick. So, I probably will not use all this potato. So, if you guys want to share a potato, you can. Um, but if not, don't worry about it. So I cut them into a thicker slice because I do want a dice, um, a small dice. So I think, and then I'm gonna make them into like potato french fries, okay? See the thickness? Okay. A family of four? Probably two potatoes. Yeah, because you guys are gonna see just this half of potato that I'm using is gonna give me a nice amount of potatoes. Vegetarians, you probably, guys probably want to use, um, still just use a half, but if you want more potatoes and less um, um, peas and carrots and corn um, and stuff like that, it's, it's up to you. Um, so I'm gonna give these a quick dice. And you can make them as large or as, sm as small as you like. See? A sub that you can definitely use the substitute meat. I'm not a fan of it, but um, some people like it. Dwayne likes it. Um, vegetarian, there's no substitute meat. <laughs> there's no vegetarian meat. There is no vegetarian meat. It's meat. Or you can have a substitute of something that to use instead of using meat. Then you know sometimes they have you know they have all that good stuff now. But look how much. Look how many uh, potatoes I have. And do you think I want all these potatoes? Um, you know, and this is just a half a small potato, okay? So, um, like I said, it's just a half, and I'm gonna put that there. And um, I'm going to demo this quickly, and then that way when you guys get started, I can walk around and help you guys if you need it, okay? So I'm gonna put this down here real quick, and I want to saute up my vegetables and be done with it. Everybody have a stove in front of them. And this is the can that you guys are gonna use. This is our fuel that we're gonna use. Oh, God, we've been drinking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, we're all in this together. We're all in this together. <laughs> I thought it was can. Okay, yes. So, all you do is take the top off, open the right side, Uh, yeah, you guys can do it, do it with me, may as well. Gabby, Gabby, who did you drink that whole bottle of wine, the other bottle of wine with? Okay, so we're gonna watch you guys, okay? <laughs> okay, um, so what you do, there's a little slit in the front in the can, okay? That's going to be facing you, okay? And as you can see, there's a little trigger here. You're gonna lift that little thing up, open your, open your stoves up on the right, right hand side, open them up, okay? Some of you have them, some of you don't, maybe, let me see, yep, we have it. Okay. And it's gonna go right, and so once you see that little lever that's up there, you can hold, you can pull it up, and you will see another little flat little ring around. You're gonna, you're going to line this up with that. You're just gonna put it in here, you're gonna let that little lever go. Everybody have a knob right in front of them. On, off, make sure it's all the way off. If it's not all the way off, once you pull this other lever down in front of you by the off button, it's not gonna go down, okay? So just pull that down, all the way down. And it should lock your can in place. So in order to utilize this stove, you have to turn the knob all the way until you hear a click. And then you can turn it down, you can, you can um, um, control your heat, okay? So turn it all the way until it click. But um, when you do cook, believe me, um, and I know Gabby knows this, you're not gonna have your handle turned this way, right? <laughs> right, right Gabby? You're gonna turn it around. When you're not cooking and you're reaching, be sure you turn your handle away from you so that if you, do something like this, it will not push your pan, okay? Same thing at home, you always, if anybody walking past real fast, you don't want them to um, bump up against your skillet, your, the handle of your skillet, so always turn it where, um, if you're not utilizing them, okay? So I have my mushrooms, I have my mixed vegetables, and I have my potatoes, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of oil, 
just probably a, um, a half a tablespoon or to a tablespoon, and I'm gonna give it a little heat, okay? I also have with me, I have a little bit of um, chicken stock. I have um, um, cream of mushroom, cream of celery. For those of you that are uh, vegetarian and do not want the, the stock because it's chicken stock, you don't have to utilize that. You're gonna use a little bit of water and you're gonna use cream of mushroom and you're gonna use cream of celery. The rest of you that are gonna have chicken, you guys are gonna use, if you guys wanna do at least a K-Way, you guys are gonna be using cream of mushroom, okay? I mean cream of chicken, I'm sorry, cream of chicken. It gives it such great flavors. I mean, it brings all those great flavors out. But like I said, vegetarian, cream of mushroom, and cream of celery, okay? And just a little, a tad bit of water, okay? Um, so I'm just getting my pan hot. And um, you have it on like medium high? I have it on medium high. Okay. And I'm going to pull my pan to the front just so that my, I won't just throw my, um, my potatoes in. I'm just gonna drop them in a little bit. And it's not dropping them into the grease because the oil is to the front. So I'm gonna throw those in here and then I'll bring it to the front, okay? I have some salt, a little bit of salt. Just a pinch. You know, you guys know how to, how to kind of work it. Okay, a little bit of pepper. And of course, Lisa K, famous seasoning. We have rose, I mean, you guys, if you guys know your herbs, you guys are gonna figure it out, okay? You know rosemary when you, when you smell it. You know garlic when you taste it. You know a little salt, a little cayenne, a, you know, you guys are gonna know. Exactly. You know the little thyme when it's in there. You guys know that. <laughs> so I'm just, um, you can saute these um, low so they, that they will not brown, but if you want a little color on them, just keep it like a low to medium, okay? Um, just don't burn them because you do want to, they're gonna cook a little bit more, okay? So, and I'm, I notice I am not adding my, my dry herbs yet because I, don't, I do not want my rosemary burning. Rosemary will burn and garlic will burn very quickly, so, um, and because all of that is in here, I'm gonna wait, and, um, okay? And one thing about me, I like to taste everything. I like to taste um, everything, and in, in, um, after I cook it up and mix it up, even though it's in a raw form, I like to taste it, because how would you know if it's enough seasoning in there, okay? So I have my tongues, I'm gonna just give it a little mix. And the potatoes will take a little bit, okay? You don't have to cook them to death, but um, cook them with just a little bit of al dente, unless you, got, you guys want a little bit of um, um, uh, al dente in, when, when you um, eat it, because they're not, they're not cooked all the way. They have some give to it. They have a little crunch, okay? I think mine is ready. We don't have a whole lot, so it's not gonna take all that much, all that much time to um, cook, okay? So at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and add my um, Lisa Kate seasoning. And I like that rosemary. I love that girl. I love those flavors on my potatoes because once you eat, once you um, put everything, mix everything up and it's seasoned already, it's gonna be so good, okay? So I have my mixed vegetables. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour them in a bowl. And uh, my asparagus is in there as well. I'm gonna go ahead, my potatoes are exactly the way, uh, almost exactly the way I want them, so I'm gonna just add my uh, mushrooms. I like my mushrooms sauteed. So I'm just gonna mix that with that. Just to get some, um, some of that seasoning on there and um, get them cooked a little bit, even though they're gonna cook in the um, oven, but just having that extra seasoning cooked in there is just so good. Okay. Add a little bit of pepper. Lisa, I usually boil my potatoes. And that's fine. You can even buy the potatoes that's already um, in the can and drain them, rinse them, and season them. 
If you want to throw them into a pan of oil and just really give a quick toss and get that seasoning all cooked in there with it, do that. The frozen vegetable, the frozen potatoes, you can use those as well. Me, so why do you recommend frying the potatoes as opposed to boiling the potatoes first? Because you get more seasoning in it. Mm -hmm. I have to try this, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add all of, all of this in here. <laughs> okay, Gabby, so you made pot pie. I saw your Facebook yeah. making pot pies. What did you do? Well, um, I already I'm learning some tricks from Chef Lisa. Lisa. So um, I made like a different kind of gravy for my pot pie and it was okay, but it wasn't quite like this. So now I know the secret to a better gravy for my pot pie. If you want, a, I mean, for the thickness of it, for the thickness of it, you guys, I'm just gonna grab a couple, a stick of butter. I always leave my butter very cold because um, um, just adding that, that little butter at the end, oh man. And if you walk away from it and it burns, it's not burned, if, it's, if, it's, if it doesn't really smell, taste it. Because now in culinary, that's a delicacy. It's not called burn. You didn't burn the brother, you butter, you just browned it, you know? So just, just go ahead and keep it. I'm gonna add a little bit of, um, Because I'm gonna make a vegetarian one, but I am going to um, I am going to um, dice my um, chicken for you guys. So, if I was if I was um, going to um, utilize my chicken, I'm going to dice my chicken, season it up, and saute it just like I did the potatoes, right? Okay, and at the end, add a pat of butter, just a, a half a, like a tablespoon or so. And then once you're done, just pour it, all that goodness right in. Right on in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you when you want to um, you want to take your chicken. So I have all my vegetables. I have everything ready for mine. I don't even have to to um, do any chicken if I don't want to. I want to just gonna go through the steps with you guys. Um, my um, cutting board is still okay for the raw chicken. And once I'm done with the raw chicken, I'll clean up everything and then I'll be ready to make make my dough because just for time strength, we're not gonna, we're gonna make our dough last and utilize it right away. Okay, so as soon as you have everything ready, clean everything up, get everything off your um, cutting, uh, off your table, even your um, stoves and stuff. And then what you're gonna do is just get your um, flour ready and you're gonna make your dough, you're gonna cut it out and you're gonna utilize it right away instead of putting it in the cooler. Okay, there's no point of putting it in the cooler when you're gonna read, because we're gonna use very cold butter very in ice water which is going to keep it formed, okay? Okay, so everybody have, um, we'll get, and I think the chicken should be on fire by now, it was frozen. So over in your bowl, you will have a half a piece of chicken. And if you don't want any vegetables and you're using um, um, all chicken, then you're going to need a little bit more chicken. But if you just add it over into your pot pie, you're gonna cut it into some nice strips. See that? See how even they are? Okay, as even as possible. We know that that last piece has always got a little bit hanging on, and that's fine, you know. We're, you guys are the only one eating it, so. And then we're gonna dice it up. And the dices are just like little pieces. Okay, so you just, it, it, just think what you want to put in your mouth and how you want it to be. If you want really huge pieces of chicken, where you going or, or do you want just a nice a, amount of, yeah, so. Oh, I made a jerk, well, the jerk, did you have a jerk, jerk chicken? Yes. The jerk chicken pot pie. Yes. It was good. It was okay. And you um, see, look how much chicken I have. Do you make a seafood pot pie? A lot of chicken. Sure. This is almost a half a cup. This is uh, four ounces. And this is what you need, because when you're doing a full meal for somebody, um, six to eight ounces of protein is all you need. And this is the four, this is about four ounces, a half a cup. And this is all you need. So once you have your um, your chicken, what you saying, um, Mr. McKay? Chef, do you make a seafood Popeye? 
We did the Creole shrimp pot pie. We did a, a, a Creole shrimp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna move this and put it down here so I won't have to use it again. I don't have to use this knife again. Or this one. But I do wanna saute my chicken. Um, I'm gonna saute that up. Just a very little bit of oil, okay? Because um, once it start cooking, and it get where you want it, we're gonna add what? So chicken stock. At the end, what are we adding? Butter. All the butter. The butter. Yes, 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 yes. Because that butter, butter is, is what better. makes everything better. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have a very little bit of oil. Maybe about a tablespoon. Just about a tablespoon. That's all you need. And once your skillet is hot, just go ahead and add that. Okay, move it around, turn it down just a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and add some of my seasonings. That's my salt and pepper, and then I'm going to mix it, and once it starts getting um, brown, like I said, I do not want to cook it all the way. I think I want to stop it right here. Did you guys see how long that took? Yeah, yeah. It literally took about a minute. You see what it looks like? That's all I, that's all you want. That's all you want. Because it's gonna finish cooking in the oven, okay? So I can um, turn it off. Oh, I'm going to, oh, I need a little bit. I'll, add a little, I'll get a little spoon. I'm gonna get a little pat of butter. Add that in there, mix it around, because I want it to have your butter already cut and ready for you, okay? Because you don't want your chicken to cook that much. Look at all that goodness, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then don't forget that really good seasoning to get that chicken all seasoned up. Okay, just give it a toss. And then you can put all this goodness, oil, um, the butter and all, right into your, um, your, um, your mixture. So what you wanna do is cut your butter in half the long way, okay? And then you're gonna have two sticks, I mean, two halves. And then you're gonna put it back together and then you're just gonna just cut them into um, small squares so that you can have your butter like this. You want it small. Um, so when you mix it into your butter, I mean to your flour, it'll um, mix very well. Don't touch your butter so much, don't, because you do not want it to cool down, okay? Okay, so this water is ice cold. And I'm gonna pour myself um, four ounces and four ounces only, okay? I put my glasses on to see where I'm at. <laughs> That's Francis. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, and what I will do is just start getting this ready. I have a cup and a half of flour, and all of it's already measured out for you guys, so you guys can just go ahead and use it. So, I saw on TV on one of the cooking shows they use their mixer with the with the dough hook. So. My big mixer, floor mixer, we did it times, times um, 10 um, the other day and it worked out so well. So I was really happy because I have to do 100 pot pies for Tuesday. So this is um, a cup and a half of flour. I'm going to immediately add my butter without touching it so much. It's already, you know, just bring, take it apart so they can, okay. And I am going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. If you are making a dessert, at this point, you will want to add your sugar, okay? So, I am going to turn it on. I'm gonna pulse it just a little bit, just to get that butter and that um, flour um, mixed up together. And then I am going to turn it all the way on, pour in my ice cold water. 
And as you can see, it's got, I don't want it to form a ball. I usually let, let it form a ball, which was a little bit too much because my dough was a little bit drier than I wanted it to be. And I found that I was uh, mixing a little bit too much. So I stopped it after 16 seconds. I used to stop it as of um, like 30 because it, it takes a while before it form a ball. And um, my dough is perfect. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So, so, <laughs> so if someone doesn't have a food processor, what is the best way to blend the dough if you're doing it by hand? If you're doing it by hand, mm -hmm. you just have to make sure, um, you, can't, you have to do it very quickly because you do not want your butter to get soft, okay? The, the more you mix it, the softer your butter is gonna be. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're gonna have to actually refrigerate it very quickly. So you just kinda like keep kneading it um, mm -hmm. a little bit um, or just, Take it and make a well in the middle. Uh -huh. Add your add your water. Get a little fork and just kind of like push it in there. Mm -hmm. And then once it's all um, getting get there together, then you just kind of like knead it just a little bit. Okay. And then form a ball and put it in the cooler. Okay. okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. So I have my dough ready. But first of all, I'm but, gonna get all my ingredients but, in here. But Chef Lisa, you could always use your mixer too, right? I, we talked about the mixer. But, mixer. But if they got mixer, yeah. Mm -hmm. it yeah. Mixer the same way. And just make sure you use that dough hook instead of um, the, the whisk, yeah. So all my, 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 look at this. Can you see the gloss on that? That's the, that's, that's all that goodness. That's all that goodness. <laughs> that's all that goodness in there, okay? Okay. I am going to add just a little bit more of my um, Lisa K. Cater seasoning, just probably a half a teaspoon, a little bit of um, black pepper and a little bit of salt because of my other vegetables, okay? And then I have a tablespoon of um, um, chicken, cream of mushroom, and cream of celery. <laughs> so, because I know um, Jacob, um, he doesn't like to, cons he's a vegetarian, and he's 100%. Dwayne is pretty much vegetarian, but he's not 100%. He's yeah. trying to eat a little bit of, um, yeah. of um, so I got a tablespoon in here, and it's just going to, um, a tablespoon of each, okay? And see, now it, I mixed it up, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you show the, sure. yeah. Can you show the back row back here? They, mm -hmm. The front room, we get all the, all the, all the. Okay. So you want to pass? Oh, they ain't gonna be looking anyway. <laughs> they in their own world. Okay, they probably already know this. Okay, and so now I have just a, uh, I have a little bit of, uh, of stock, okay? And I'm, a little bit of stock. You can use veg vegetable stock, or you can use chicken stock, or you can just use water, okay? So, I have two tablespoons, okay? And then what I'm gonna do next is add a little bit of heavy cream, which is probably about a, um, two tablespoons of heavy cream because you definitely want, mm -hmm, two tablespoons. You definitely want to make sure that you have enough um, liquid in here to cook it because you don't want to get it um, so dry, okay? You don't want to make it dry. Okay, so I'm gonna taste mine. It's exactly the way I want it. Yeah. So I'm going to set, set it aside. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this up. I'm going to um, go ahead and roll my dough out. Okay. So I am going to definitely add a little bit of flour on my um, surface. Move it around. Grab my dough. And it's still cold. So I'm really glad about that. I'm not gonna handle it too much. So I'm gonna put it on my surface, add just a little flour on top. And I can add a little bit on my rolling pan. And I'm just gonna uh, roll it out. It's already soft, so we are not gonna. We don't have to roll it uh, very hard because we're not gonna refrigerate this go back and forth. If it seems like it's crumbling up on you, 
That's because you don't want to go back and forth. You're probably doing it a little bit too hard, okay? Now. But chef, the best results it's, is to refrigerate um, it? Huh? The best yeah, one. you can, yeah, I like I like to, I don't mind refrigerating it, but sometimes when I have to leave and go somewhere and come back, and sometimes if it's overnight, it takes a, a minute to um, unthaw. Um, so, and then just kind of feel it to see if um, it's to the thickness that you want. Some people like a really thick dough. I like mine thinner, okay? Now this dough would make about about four or five um, pot pies. I am so happy to hear that. Because uh -huh. I was like, are, are we eating a whole stick of butter? <laughs> no. <laughs> and I have, you see how mine is spread it out? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's nice. Mm -hmm. I'm so, so. <laughs> What are you happy to hear? I am so happy to hear that um, the, <laughs> with the one stick of butter, we're able to make multiple, you know, pieces of crust. Mm -hmm. I was a little worried, I'm not gonna lie. But <laughs> I was like, is that what I'm consuming? So, so to, to measure out the roundness of, um, for the bottom, this is gonna be the bottom part. You can take two, you can, you can cut out two for the bottom and for the top. I like mine for the bottom. You want it to be a little bit bigger, so you're not gonna measure exactly around here. So you're gonna just kind of like show, see that it's a little bit around the edge. Um, not exact, because you want to push it down so it can be over the sides as well. Okay. So. As you can see, it's not exactly the um, same. Yeah. You know, just go around it, but just leave about this much um, space around it when you um, when you cut it out. And then um, we're gonna add a little bit of spray. We're gonna spray the pan. <laughs> and then we are gonna take the pie crust and we're gonna place it down, and it should cover your sides. And if you, and it's soft already, so you can easily move it around, okay? Cool, and that's it. And then once you have all of that, you wanna add all of your goodness. I wanna know if that back row gonna be ready. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> they probably already know what they're doing. Those are, those are the millennials back there. <laughs> so you see, you guys see that my, um, I used all my goodies, every, every bit of it. I didn't, I didn't put too much, remember I said that cup was just enough, and it's, it's just enough. And so, if you wanna cut out another um, piece, just measure it. Otherwise, um, we have puff pastry dough that's already cut out. And I know um, Gabby loved my pot pies. <laughs> and she loved the top crow crust. And we always do um, um, the puff pasty um, dough. But what a lot of people don't do, um, when they do the uh, dough on top, they don't season it. We season ours. We season everything. So, um, our, like I said, our puff pastry dough is already cut out. We're gonna just put it on top. Okay. And I am going to give myself a little egg wash. I use this. <laughs> Who said you have to use a fork to mix an egg? What? <laughs> okay. So only thing I'm gonna do, everybody know how to paint? Finger paint? paint? Oh. Paint a house, only thing I do is just brush some egg wash over it. And the egg wash will give it a beautiful color. Beautiful color. Okay. Uh -oh. I always wondered what the purpose is of putting. I've always wondered the purpose. Of, <laughs> <laughs> what the purpose is of putting a um, egg wash on top of the crust. Even like when you bake pies and things. Bake, like, it browns it. It browns even it. Quicker. Yeah. Okay. And of course, my Lisa Kate seasoning goes right on top. I will never bake anything without putting something on top. If I'm doing a beef pot pie, uh -huh. I put um, some different seasonings on top. I don't do the rosemary because 
rosemary and, and beef just don't go. You want to do something like thyme? Yeah. A little bit of yeah. I'm going to talk to you. And thanks to Chef Lisa, I feel like it came out perfectly. So thank you so much, Chef Lisa. <laughs> I've never, I've never had a Popeye that looked this gorgeous. And thank you so much, Chef Lisa. I mean, I learned some nice tips. Definitely, I was doing a few things wrong, but now I can go home and correct it and make some awesome Popeyes. I'm just gonna do a Popeye. Rhonda was voted for the best Popeye, and I'm gonna show her Pop. Rhonda, Rhonda was voted for the best Popeye. Rhonda and a Rhonda. All right, now look at that Popeye. Isn't that beautiful? We have a mother and daughter team here. Now, what is your name, young lady? Bree, you cook, you cook a little bit, right? Yes. Okay, what, you, what kind of things you make? I can cook a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah? Name something, I'll be like, yeah, I could try that. <laughs> what about uh, shrimp and grits? I don't like grits, so I don't make that. But so I do make, make a lot of shrimp, though. You make a lot of shrimp. Mm -hmm. What kind of dishes? Uh, I make a Cajun shrimp alfredo. The other day I just made a jerk shrimp with my dad with some oxtails, some stuff like that, yeah. Oh, oxtail, do we, do we have a little Caribbean in the family? Or? No. Mm -hmm. okay. No, I'm just black. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Look, she didn't like that. All right, now. No, I'm just teasing. I don't know where she got that from. Her dad is a cooker, so she got that from him. Uh, Honestly, but no, this is great. I, I had a great time. This is the best pot pie I've ever made. I make pot pie often, but I, you know, I skirt around and do little tricks and things like that. This is this is authentic, and um, I'm looking forward to uh, giving this to my husband. Chef Lisa K, love that you joined our class. You love teaching. Again, I want to thank you all for attending. You guys know all about us now. Yes. Um, feel free to give me a call or email me or text me and let me know you want to schedule your next class. We also do kids classes. We do, um, they can sign up. We do birthday parties, um, girls night out. We do um, all, kind of, all kind of corporate cooking. We do like and subscribe to our channel.